Steepness of gigs. Everyone knows it does something. But what is it after all? With a physics simulator, we might be able to tell what it is at last. Here, we have a skateboard. And some variations of it. The only difference is angles of their tails. Other conditions are basically the same, including their sizes and weights, which in this case is 3 kilograms. So if I push the tail with the same strength, the noses would come up just like when we pop the tail. And their reaction should be looking different depending on the angles of their tails. Let me show you how the simulation goes. I'll be dropping this ball that weighs 2 kilograms along with this axis from 50 centimeters high. This colored part indicates the distance from the ball's starting point to the point of impact. The ball stops its movement right after its first impact. We need to make sure all balls receive the same amount of energy. But since angles of the tails are different, the height of the end of the tails are also different. So let's adjust the ball's starting height. Are we ready? Moment of truth. Eh? If you take a closer look, you could tell they are different, but the difference looks pretty much minimum. But that's until you see them from this angle. Now it looks much clearer, their angles are different. Please note, they have the same noses. A board with a steeper kick seems to come up higher, and a board with a mellower kick seems to stay lower. And this is how they look when their noses have the same shapes as their tails. Their appearances are different now. Which one do you think is the most suitable for you? Finally, let's also try extreme examples. If the kick is as steep as this, although the ball hits the tail, that energy seems to be directly conveyed into the wheels without really popping the tail. As a result, the tail does not even hit the ground, leaving the board closer to the ground. And what if it's the other way, when the kick is going down? In this case, the board actually hits the ground, and that happens really fast. But its angle stays small, it must be really difficult to slide up your front foot too. And whether you can ride it comfortably or not is a totally different topic. And that's all for this episode. There must be a lot more things that I could talk about. The height of trucks, weight of objects, etc, etc. Please let me know what you'd like me to talk about next. Go skate, don't get checkled. Until next time.